So anyway, I have a fire here, as you can see, it's sort of going. Bloody windy here today. Yeah, it's only about 15 degrees and it's winter. So today, I want to show you. This is what, this is my form of a billy. So a billy is this thing, and you type it tin can, put it on the fire, and you boil it. And you can put tea, put anything you want in it. So you can make a cup of tea. You can also cook food in it. And that is a billy. Now, this word is, um, yeah, it's a bit windy. I might go inside to explain this. Anyway, so now that I'm back inside, and it's actually quite a cold day. So, a billy, it's actually an icon of Australia. And an icon means something that represents Australia. And it represents those people who used to um, live in the bush since uh, the first white people came to Australia in 1788. And as part of their means to survive, they had a swag, which I'll make another video. But they had the billy, as I showed at the front of the video. That was basically all their cooking utensils. They might have had a cup, they might have a saucepan to cook um, eggs or something in. Um, but the billy was the main means for making liquid, making tea making soup or boiling seafood or boiling whatever yeah they can remember and it's still used if you go camping today in the bush but today's ones are more like aluminium they're more like teapots actually but in general if I go camping I just take that thing that I'll show you right there I take a small saucepan I just use a fire cook whatever very good. Okay, so uh, Billy is also an icon in our early Australian poetry and um, stories. There's two authors, Henry Lawson and Banjo Patterson, who were both actually on a $10 banknote. Um, they used the, the Billy or Billy can to emphasize the outbackness of. Uh, the swagman who lived in the bush and walked around and got jobs, odd jobs from here to there, got a job for like a few months and then moved on to another place. And especially during the Great Depression in the 1930s, that's generally what a lot of people did. They picked up, moved around, tried to look for work, done it, moved around. And they used a billy can. And Banjo Patterson's uh, famous one, Waltz and Matilda, is about a swagman, a person who lived in a bush. And it's a bit of a sad story. So if you want to look it up, Waltzing Matilda, boo for St Kilda. Okay, hope this um, word taught you something today. So when you, if you ever come to Australia and you go camping, don't forget to take your billy, because you need something to drink. Hooroo.